In this video, I'm going to show you how to self-adjust your ankles to get more motion and less pain. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. This video is going to really focus on front ankle pain. When you fully bend your ankle up or down and you experience pain in the front of the ankle, you might have what's called impingement syndrome. That's when soft tissues around the ankle stiffen up, causing issues with range of motion, pop and crack sounds, instability, and pinching pain. I'm going to show you two ways to self-adjust your ankles in a form of very easy stretches. Think of them as helping to reset your ankle and helping the bones around the ankle and foot move and glide more freely, which hopefully leads to more range of motion, less popping and cracking, and just makes the ankle feel better overall. Again, these stretches are very easy to do, don't require any special equipment, and can be done at home. So let's get started and get those ankles feeling better right now. With the first exercise, we're going to focus on mobilizing the talus. The talus is an important bone of the ankle joint, and it's located between the calcaneus, that's the heel bone, and the fibula and tibia of the lower leg. So why the talus is so important is because of this. Take your ankle and go into plantar flexion, that is pointing your toes all the way from you. And then go into dorsiflexion, which is bringing the ankle back up. If you start to feel any impingement, especially right in through here, you could have a talus misaligned or just not moving the way it should. So how we find the talus is we're gonna go over these big bumps right here. Those are the malleolus, so you have two of them, medial, and on the outside you have a lateral. Go to the bottom of those and trace a little bit towards the front of the ankle. You're gonna find a nice little hole or divot right there. If you take your fingers and pinch onto it just like that, you are over the head of the talus. Again, start to go into plantar flexion, bring the ankle and foot back up, and notice if that pain is right over that area while you pinch it. So if it is, let's do a nice self-mobilization technique that should hopefully put some more range of motion in there. What you're gonna do is take your hand, just cup it, so I'm taking my right hand for my right ankle, and I'm going to put the webbing of that hand right over the head of the talus. I position it like this where my thumbs are kind of going at an angle towards my heel. So that's your nice contact point. You wanna put just a lot of pressure in there, obviously only to the point where you're comfortable, and then you're gonna take your left hand and place it at the bottom of the foot just like this. So while you're maintaining pressure into the talus, go back into plantar flexion, press into the talus, and then bring the foot into dorsiflexion. So you're bringing it back up while you maintain that pressure into the ankle. And just hold it for a little bit, bring it back down, and then do this about 10 to 15 times, just nice and slowly, only to your comfort level. Obviously, if you start to feel any pain, back off and stop immediately. So you wanna do this a couple times a day if you are having talus impingement, especially right at the front. It just helps loosen it up and you might find that it helps with uh, pop sounds, cracking sounds, and just general overall range of motion. This next exercise is going to help decompress the ankle joint. What you need is a foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, what you can do is take two large soup cans, roll them up in a large bath towel to get the same thing. Also, when you do this exercise, you want your ankles to be high enough where your toes are not touching the floor. So with the foam roller or the soup cans, if your toes are dragging on the floor, elevate it up a little bit with another large bath towel or just throw a pillow underneath. So when we do this exercise, we wanna make sure that this foam roller is in the groove between the uh, bottom part of the leg and the top part of the ankle, kind of right over that talus. If you start to feel any pain during this exercise, please discontinue immediately. So with this one, your butt is going to make contact with the back of the heels right through here. If you're unable to sit your butt on your heels, place a large towel or a pillow in between the legs right here so you can start to build pressure in there. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to slowly put pressure downwards on the heel only to our comfort point. Once you have a nice amount of pressure into the ankles, you might actually feel a self-release, pop, crack, whatever you wanna call it, into the ankles. This right here is just going to help open them up quite a bit. So when I have pressure being built into this area, what I like to do then, after a little bit of just holding it for maybe about 30 seconds or so, is start to move the feet outwards. I go inwards with them. I go into plantar flexion, 
dorsiflexion. I'm just really going through the motions of the ankle. If there's one spot that you really feel is very pinpoint, start to just put a little bit more pressure in there to dig in and just break up those adhesions into the ankle. It's going to help later on, especially with more flexibility into the ankle itself. You can also do just nice round motions with the, uh, the ankle itself. Just really explore the area, and if there's one spot that needs a little bit more attention, just start to work on it. And you can do this for a little bit, and you can do it daily if you want to. It just helps build a lot of range of motion into the ankle, so give it a try. So if you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.